Hey, what's up y'all? The NCC3 here, and I'm so happy I could be here with y'all today because I'm going to go over a few tips that will greatly help you win KVK for your kingdom and allow your guild to score a decent amount of points so you can get better rewards. But before we get into this video, I really hope y'all understand that it's absolutely nothing personal if my guild or myself or anybody else comes to your kingdom and burns you. You guys need to understand that it's literally for KVK and that we're all playing a war game. Literally the sole purpose of this game is to attack one another. Literally the only reason, the only reason that you play a game like this is to just attack one another. But for some reason, it doesn't prevent everybody from getting to that anal leakage phase in terms of the you happy or you mad bruh scale. Like I'm telling you guys, there's an actual scale out there, right? You know, hey, how you doing? My name's Bob, we had a baby, it's a boy. Bam, right? That right there is the very beginning of the scale. All the way up into, I fucking wish you would die. Drink a gallon of bleach. And that's about the anal leakage phase, you know? But look guys, you know, all I'm saying here is please try not to have any personal grudges and really, really try hard not to wish death onto anybody during or after KVK. Because we guys, remember, right? Just remember, it's literally a game. And games are meant to have fun, and if you're no longer having fun, then why the fuck are you even playing it, you know? And with that being said, let's get into it. IGG's already announced that they'll give us a date for when KVK is going to be going down, but it's really going to suck if they just bring it on us all of a sudden. So this first part is based off of IGG's promise to us, and I'm 100% sure a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this one, but nevertheless, it needs to happen, and that's none other than having a kingdom purge, and what that means is an all-out free-for-all for your kingdom. That literally means no naps, no allies, no peace at all. Your overlord should post a message in your kingdom stating that the purge is going to take place as soon as IGG gives the notification that it's going to be going down. This will greatly help your kingdom out because no other kingdom gives two fucks about your kingdom's peace treaties or naps or RSS farming rules. Like, look guys, they seriously will not give a fuck. And I'm telling you guys, you guys need to burn everybody in your kingdoms because if you don't, somebody like me is going to come by and I'm going to be burning your guys' kingdom and I'm going to score tons of points for my kingdom. So guys, do yourself a favor and essentially cut all of the fat out of your kingdom. And I know guys, a lot of fucking people are not going to be agreeing with me on this one, but it needs to happen nonetheless. Otherwise, you're just going to be giving a ton of free points to every other kingdom. And if I know anything about IGG, I know they care about money. So they're going to put a great emphasis on kill count in terms of your guild and actual ki overall kingdom score. That first tip's going to help everyone out in your entire kingdom. And for those kingdoms that simply do not do this, I've only got one message for y'all. And that's simply this. Thank you very much for the Christmas present. Next year I want a pogo stick, I want a bunny, I want the Red Rider shooting BB gun, and well, maybe my two front teeth. The next tip I'm going to be going over is monster hunting. And well, when y'all view this video, you shouldn't use any more energy packs for monster hunting. That even goes in between KVK times, guys. I'm telling you guys, save them, save them, save them. I feel that KVK is going to happen sometime very soon because the monster hunting pack just dropped in the gem shop today so everyone can stock up. The reason why you want to save all these packs is because your kingdom points will be affected, but by what degree, you know, um, I, I really don't know to be honest, but I know it's not going to weigh as heavily as kill counts will. I also want to mention that it's a good way to get your guild score up a great deal. I also want to mention the all want to only kill level 2 monsters because IGG has already stated they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Look at these birdies. Look at these birdies. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about the level 1 monsters, guys. They've made it quite clear. The last tip I'm going to go over has a lot to do with preventing your kingdom from just handing over a ton of free points to your enemies. And that's going with an anti-hive mentality. And I know a lot of y'all like to hive because it's a good way to get resources, kill monsters, all that stuff. But guys, listen, man. It's seriously going to net you a ton of people porting in and farming your hives non-stop for kills, resources, and it's going to happen over and over and over. Just fucking kill me is exactly what it's going to be doing because everyone wants their kingdom and guilds to win for KVK. So I highly recommend that y'all just use a random teleporter, shelter, and designate a few people in your guilds that you can garrison, send troops, and hold all of your resources so that you can protect your investments. Most guilds already do this without thinking about it, but just in case yours doesn't, I really highly recommend that y'all reconsider. 
Hopefully y'all are looking forward to my next video. I'll be going over how to defend against enemy kingdoms. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope y'all got some value out of this video. And if you liked it, then please hit that like button and don't forget to tell a friend. I cover everything from free to play all the way up to high end gameplay. And I even have a Coliseum series where I share all of my tips, tricks and strategies so that you can also obtain rank one in the Coliseum. So if you want to be notified when I upload videos, then please hit that subscribe button. But if you're already a subscriber, I want to give a huge shout out to y'all because of all the crazy support you all been giving me. And I'm telling you guys, it really does mean the world to me and it gives me the drive to continue to upload Lord's Mobile videos. But y'all know what I'm talking about though. Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe, but above all, stay classy.